So in this video, we're going to be looking at auto tagging and the tagging tools in Music B. We go to tools. We're going to be focusing on these tagging tools options and artwork. So under tagging tools, you can show files that are missing tags and it will display a list of all your songs that are missing tags. For example, all these songs are missing album and artist. You can view songs that are missing lyrics. Many of these songs don't have lyrics. So what I could then do is go to lyrics under the track settings and hit mark as having no lyrics. Another thing that you could look at is these filters for files to edit. For example, you can show all dead links. So these would be songs that Music B cannot find if they've been moved, but they're in the library. Music B can't find them. So you're going to, this is a way for you to find those songs. Um, let's see. We have, we can show files that are with inconsistent album tags. You see a list of that there. So this is a way for you to see all your songs that have messed up tags or inconsistent tags. And you can go through all of them and update them as you wish. You can also view songs with inconsistent sorting tags, tag lettering case, and with no volume analyzing. We go to tagging, auto tag by album. We get a list of options for how we want to set up the tags. So it searched the internet and found two items with tags for our song. So we can select this one or select this one. Notice that it's giving us the genre of ambient and we have the value, the original value set as psychedelic. So if we want to use this, these tags that it's giving us here, we could say apply and notice how when we go to edit, we now have the ambient genre instead of psychedelic. Go back to tools, tagging tools. We can also auto tag by track. So we can update missing artwork. What I would do is go under artwork for this track and delete the album art. So I can show you how the auto tagging works with the album art. So we go back to tools and we go to auto tag by track, update missing artwork. We will select the song. It will search the internet and notice how it found the artwork and placed it in the file. And we can see that here and here. And notice it gave us the picture type of album cover. So that's good to go. You can also choose to capitalize. This will capitalize the artist album and track name. Well, capitalize the first letter that is. So let's say we change this to a lowercase o for the name of the song. And we went back and say capitalize. And we say yes. Notice that it has capitalized. This is good if you have inconsistent casing with your track names. You can also do a search and replace. Of course, I don't have anything selected, so let's select just a couple of songs. And we could do a search and replace on here. We can search for anything that we like in a field, for example. Let's search for the artist and let's say I want to search for connect and we will replace that and we're looking for artist here we'll replace that with the lowercase variant like so and we have options match case match whole word etc now match case hit preview and we see two songs that will be updated. We'll hit apply changes and close. Notice that the artist hasn't been changed. We can also remove tags. 
we can move specific tags or remove all tags. And these tags, notice, we can choose rating, album, genre, anything that we want to remove, we can remove. We can renumber tracks, reset play counts, reset skip counts. And if we log into Last.fm, we can also choose to sync the play count from Last.fm and sync love tracks. And to log in, you would do, you would need to go to your preferences, I believe under plugins, you can log into Last.fm for your username and password and the link to sign up. And this will allow you to configure those options. Back to tagging tools. We can look at artwork now. This is going to allow you to pick from different artwork that is online. For example, I'm going to remove this artwork here for this song. I'm going to choose downloader and we have, we're going to choose, we have the option to choose artist thumbnail pictures, artist, album artist or composers. We have the option to choose album cover or movie backdrop from soundtrack. I'm going to pick album covers and we're going to say preview and it's going to look online and give us options. Notice that this was the album art we had before, but we can also use this one, which I believe is the remastered version. Let's say we want this one and it's, this has been searched from the iTunes store. It looked at Deezer and it looked at Beam. I'm going to say save and notice how when we reselect the song, it's been updated with the new album art. If we go back to tools, artwork and album artwork manager. We see a way where we can filter out some of our songs with inconsistent artwork. Songs with non-square artwork, no artwork, or artwork that doesn't match the storage preferences. We can also choose small artwork and set the number of pixels. If we refresh, notice how we're seeing songs with artwork of 200 pixels. You can choose inconsistent and so forth. So this is again just a way for you to find songs with artwork that may not be correct for the file and you want to be able to easily go ahead and manage all these songs at once. So that's a look at auto tagging and tagging tools for Music Beat. In the next video, we'll be looking at converting music and adding additional music coding to Music Beat.